Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jenny Montgomery. Welcome to another half hour of information to help you make the most of your time to make informed decisions and to keep up with goings on around Greater Augusta. Today, we are focusing on health and wellness through nourishing the body and mind. The Augusta alumna chapter of Delta Sigma Theta will own the mind portion, telling us about the accomplished young men taking part in their upcoming Mr. Debonair fundraiser. The makers of Hydro One are here. Their functional beverages are designed to reverse the effects of poor diet and lifestyle choices. But first, maybe you read this article in the Augusta Chronicle last month, citing a report that Georgia families who get insurance through an employer saw their average deductible skyrocket more than 23% and now pay an average of 14% of their income just in premiums and meeting deductibles. The national average is 12%. Now, some medical professionals are out to change that through direct primary care. They say it puts the power back into the hands of patients and providers and allows more time with patients so you don't feel like you're just being rushed in and out. Dr. Ed Boland and Davis Mellick are some of the first here in the Augusta area to introduce DPC. Dr. Boland, thank you for being here. Thanks for having us, Jenny. Absolutely. Davis, it's great to see you yeah. here as well. Great to meet you. Now, you all um, say that this gives you more time with your patients, and you said that it's the kind of medicine you wanted to practice since medical school. It is, it is. I went into family practice thinking I was going to go back to my small town in South Carolina and be old Doc Boland, deliver babies and take care of folks that I went to school with and I knew their families and to be that, that stalwart in the community. And right. I just have not had that opportunity until this direct primary care model fell into my lap thanks to Davis. You are running direct primary care Evans. And so you probably didn't have that many years in in the medical field when you stumbled upon this. So how did, it, how did you find it? Well, uh, I've actually been practicing uh, since 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I started off in emergency medicine um, and then transitioned to primary care and urgent care. And that's actually where Dr. Bowen and I met. Right. And right. so we were saying to ourselves, there's got to be something better. Uh, th there's got to be something where we can really give impactful uh, medical advice and, and time to patients without insane costs and, and dealing with insurance companies that are dictating how you practice. And I had come across direct primary care and we started talking about it and we decided this is what we need to do. This is how we're going to, you know, at least it might be a drop in the bucket, but it's at least a start to try to change things, at least in our community, where we can provide good quality medical care, be able to have the time with patients and not have everything kind of dictated to us on how we're supposed to practice. I, I saw on one of the websites that that pretty much for a doctor, half the time that you're there is spent on the, the paperwork and, mm -hmm. in, and entering mm -hmm. all this information. And you, you don't get to spend that time on your, on your patient. And, and for a lot of physicians, in order to compensate for that, they spend the necessary time with the patient and then take all of that computer and paperwork home with them. And, and oh, that's so something that patients don't break. see, yeah. but um, it's not unusual for doctors to spend a majority of their weekends or or at night after dinner with their family to spend till nine or 10 o'clock getting caught up. And Davis has a young family and um, I have a grandson and we thought, you know what, we're not gonna spend the rest of our lives being dictated to like that. Well, why don't you just explain how, how direct primary care works? Sure, direct primary care, at the fear of losing our audience right off the bat, um, <laughs> takes no insurance. Um, instead, we work on a monthly fee schedule and that for, for our practice that's based upon your age. So if you're 18 years old or younger, it's a monthly fee of $35. We don't charge you by the visit. Yeah. Um, so if you see me five times that month, it's still $35 for that child. If you don't see me at all that month, it's still a fee of $35. Right. So 
Um, the average fee for our patients is about $50. It maxes out at $70 for a, uh, for a person who's 65 years old uh, and, and older. But the average is about $50. So in the course of a year, you're spending $600. And in return for that, you have unlimited access. We take care of your basic preventive medicine needs. For example, um, a lady's pap smear is included in that cost. Mm -hmm. Our, our portion of the fee, the, the pathologist still wants to get paid, but right. um, the, uh, the uh, typical person will, will spend about $600 in a year, which is far less than the 14% of, of income, income that you were just talking about in, in the lead-in. And if you do have insurance, it does kick in when it comes to, like, if there's emergency room visits mm -hmm. or you have, have to be referred to specialists and things. That's right. Absolutely. And so we encourage people to have some coverage, uh, but it doesn't have to be traditional insurance anymore. Um, you can use health share programs. There's a lot of them that mm -hmm. are Affordable Care Act compliant, uh, but now that you no longer get fined if you don't have insurance that's uh, ACA compliant, uh, there's others out there that do just, uh, you know, for, for whenever the big bad stuff happens, the really expensive stuff. and so. Uh, we, I think what we're doing is going to give people better access and more affordable care ultimately as well. If you take a look at the video right now, Dr. Boland is right now on uh, Davis Road in Martinez. Temporarily, eventually you're going to wind up in North Augusta. That's the plan. That, that's the plan right now, yeah. Jenny, and, and that's a, a great time if we could just to give a shout out to Dr. Rob Lamberts, yeah. who is the 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 number one direct primary care doctor working in in augusta he started about five years ago and he has just taken us under wing he's been a mentor and a and a big brother really to to, to me and to, to davis and is sharing his office with me right now yeah. um, uh, davis has his own office in evans you're out in evans mm -hmm. right right and your your wife is with you at that yeah, practice yeah mm -hmm. uh, she uh, sees her own patients so if people are more comfortable with her they're more than mm -hmm. happy to and she also does a lot of the women's health uh, for all of us and mm -hmm. so uh, you, yeah. you you have the option for a female for provider a female, exactly mm -hmm. well when you go to their website there's a little a little video you can click on it's a little animated video and it explains direct primary mm -hmm. care so fully and then you see what the fee schedule is according to your age and everything and you could decide if it's something that might be right for your family. I thank you both for taking the time to explain this to our audience because it is new. You're, you're breaking out of the mold here. Mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thanks so for much having us. Because like you say, it's a broken system mm -hmm. and we've got to find a way to fix it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you. Dr. Ed Boland, Davis Miller. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Still ahead on Jenny, drinks to meet unique needs like heart health and management of diabetes and obesity.